Welcome to another Fishing Junkie episode. This is part one of my trip to Sedona, Arizona's Oak Creek. Loaded with trout, surrounded by forest, and with crystal clear water, this is an incredible place to fish. The water is so clear that if you look hard enough, you'll see the trout chase my line. This first episode starts off early in the morning at a clear, deep pool. All right, so me starting off with this little thing. This is a little $1 lure from a local store. And the color of it is actually a uh, sexy shad. So we'll see uh, <laughs> what this thing attracts. I already see a couple things chasing it. So that's cool. There you go. Oh, it's a beautiful little brownie. How nice. So I think it's a brownie. Maybe it's just the color of the water. Nope, that's a brownie. How about that? Yeah, get over here. There we are. Oh, how pretty is that? Look at that guy. All right, I gotta get him released quick. So I didn't get video of the release because I was just kind of anxious to get that guy back on the water. But my sexy shad successfully hooked my net. But geez, I'm using barbless hook. This should come right out. I don't know. I'll get it. Well, I got it out of the net, but I'm missing the hook. <laughs> That's alright. I wasn't going to sit there all day and try to mess with it. Let's see if we can get number two. And one cool thing about these brown trout is that they're wild. You just don't get a lot of, you know, natural fish anywhere in the desert. So it just kind of makes these guys special. I think I can probably get a second one here. All right, so I guess I got tired of staring at my sexy shad, so I'm gonna try something a little bit different. It seemed to have kind of really quieted down uh, after I caught that one, so they might be a little spooked. All right, so I got like this little soft plastic, I don't know what you call it, maybe a grasshopper. I don't have a fly rod, so I'm hoping this thing's got some weight to it. And I can get it out there and just maybe bounce it around the top or something. Let's see. A little bit of distance on it. Someone came up and looked at it. Let me try that again. There, that's a good spot. Oh, something came up for it. Oh, he swatted at it. 
They're digging this this grasshopper. Just need to get him to hook. Whoa. Oh, he came up right after it and I missed him. Oh, came up, hit it again. Jeez. Oh, they like it in that current. All right, so the grasshopper had a couple of brownies chasing it, but they just weren't really biting it. Well, I'm certainly happy to get my first brown trout out of this pool of water here, but I've kind of slowed down, so I'm gonna see what else is around. <clears throat> Hopefully we'll find another pool. All right, so welcome to spot number two. This is kind of a pool area. I drove down about a half mile from where I was before. I have this kind of shallow pool in front of me. Normally I wouldn't fish this shallow, but I, I thought I saw something jump right when I walked up on it. And I don't think that this spot is restricted like the other spot was. So I don't have, I think I can use uh, live bait if I want to. Oh, he bit it. Making progress. Huh. Okay, so I just casted right here. This is the other side of the roadway. And I just got all sorts of little nibbles on this little night crawler. So I'm actually gonna go grab all my stuff and I'm gonna set up here. There he is. This one feels like he's got some pull. I think it's rainbow. Oh, he came off. Darn it. <laughs> Darn it. All right, so I'm still in the same general area, but I've moved away from the noise of the rushing water. I've come to this real nice and quiet area. It's skinny, but there's some deeper pools. And I've already seen two trout swimming around, so hopefully, hopeful that I don't lose one again. <laughs> There, finally. Off the salmon eggs. I had to sneak it in. A little rainbow. I'll take it. Cool. Calm down. There. All right. So the first part of the day had its ups and downs. 
In part two, things will pick up as I start to figure these trout out. As always, thanks for watching.